Okay, guys, let me just bore you a second with safety. If anybody watched the video, they saw me wearing these. Okay, when I fired up the engine. I had to sit down for this one. Okay, for anybody that's followed me for a long period of time, they'll know about two years ago, I had a flash fire go across my face. Okay, I was wearing normal safety glasses, because I do. Whenever I'm dealing with something chemical related, drilling, machining a road, I'm sanding something, I toss on safety glasses. This happens to be the pair that's sitting in the, in the garage here. The type I was wearing at work with a normal set of glasses. Okay, so if these were the glasses, you know, the smaller. When the flash fire came across my face, it burned off the top of both my eyebrows and took off all the hair on the top of my head. It gave me a tan. Okay. And how it happened was I was using brake cleaner. Okay, I had uh, I had to do a set of valve cover gaskets. And it was V8. And three of the little bolts on each valve cover snapped off in the head. So I knew I was gonna have to drill. And I'm a pretty neat type person. So I took some brake cleaner. I cleaned off the um, gasket, not the gasket area, the, uh, the land on the head where the valve cover gasket would sit. Okay, I cleaned that off, wiped it and gave it all a good cleaning. Okay, I just saw oils are constantly getting all over me, so you can work a little cleaner. Um, continued, I drilled one out and tapped it because it was flush. Okay, so however long that took, went to do the second one and it was sticking up. So I grabbed it with a little uh, a little sprag to try and work it out. And it wasn't coming so I figured I'd warm it. And I had one of those little micro torches. Now bear in mind, well over a half hour I passed. Easy. And I lit it and I went into the engine compartment. And as soon as I went in the engine compartment, it was like a flash fire explosion. Let me put it this way, people in the back shop came into the front shop just from the pressure wave. And I just stood there after it happened. I could smell the hair burnt, but you don't know because you're waiting. You're waiting to see what's really the deal. And thank God for me, I had my safety glasses on because if I didn't, I probably wouldn't have my sight. Okay, um, some did come around and irritate my eyes. I had to go to the eye doctor. And I know them a very long time. And they were thankful that I had the safety glasses on. Um, I had to wear a hat for a couple of months until the peach fuzz started growing back. It was bad enough the hair was falling out on its own. I didn't need it all burned off right across the top. And the smell of it was nasty. So, and uh, yeah. I've seen a lot of cars when you kick them off, shoot a fireball out the car grader. Yes, did I put the distributor in correct? Yes, did I set the base timing? Yes. Do I make mistakes? Absolutely. Everybody makes mistakes. So could that thing have shot a fireball? Yes. Was I in what I considered a confined area for a fireball to come get me? Yes. So that's why if you look until I walk around the back, I'm wearing these things. Okay, if you could tell once it kicks off how far the time was off. It was only off by five degrees, I checked it later. So, a little five degree advance, and it was mint. Um, so, that's my little safety. You know, I come from the era that when you wore safety glasses, people called you all sorts of names. You know, I'll walk around with safety glasses on the work because I'll forget they're on my head. If I'm running back and forth from my bay and I'm cutting something or doing something, a lot of times they're still on my face because I forget. Then all of a sudden you're like, oh wow. And uh, I'll keep them in my top pocket of my work shirt because if I'm going back and forth and I'm cutting some rotors, as soon as I walk back in the room, they're on. Because once you get complacent, that's when all shit goes down. There's so many things that could hurt you 
that you don't have to set yourself up to be hurt. And 